Welcome. My name is Brandon Zhao. My name is Jason Roman. My name is Leon Parker. My name is Michelle Rochefort, and today we will talk about creating a meaningful virtual community we have experienced in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. So to begin, what is so important about internships? An internship program enables employers to build a steady pipeline of young and qualified talents and offers them an opportunity to try out different candidates before zeroing in on the right one. It provides a company with a varied talent pool and allows for the company to retain the best of the best. According to a survey by the National Association of Colleges and Employers, nearly 80% of employers witnessed a higher five-year retention rate among employees that had hired through their internship programs. This proves that the internships truly do leave a lasting impact on employee output. Community footprint. Internships also open opportunities for students and graduate students in the community, exposing and promoting your business image. Our strategy. The centralized purpose of our strategy is to create a meaningful and engaging way for interns under COVID-19 restrictions to transition into their career field. Now, it is up to the company, however, provide these aspiring workers with proper training and workplace education. Lots of interns have learned their specific knowledge in their workplace, but they don't know how to properly apply their knowledge yet for their specific field. Through this opportunity, interns will not only gain crucial experience in their field, but they'll also end up learning new information in the process. Companies can also use this opportunity to um, view the ways in which individuals demonstrate the important values of the company. One of the biggest experiences, however, is an intern can gain intern gain by working with the team, by building key communication skills, the interns can learn to work together as a team and complete the task more efficiently. In terms of our strategy, the first step is to provide these interns with a purpose, an objectively oriented environment in which they can experience working for such a company before they are permanently hired. We recommend providing interns with problem or case-based learning projects, tasking them with conducting background research on specific issues that are relevant to the company's operations driving them to individually seek out ways to contribute to the company initiative. Under the limitations of COVID-19, this form of work is achievable from home with basic technological needs, that being minimal access to the internet and enables the intern to bring insight and value to the company. Individualized application. Rather than telling them what to do, we recommend allowing for interns to individually decide how they want to approach their main tasks. This form of work mirrors what, is, what it is like to, in a real workplace environment where employees are expected to produce results without constant guidance. Especially during COVID-19, the reality is that collaboration and communication, while still achievable, is limited to cameras and microphones. These interns will not receive babysitting services. Therefore, by letting these interns individualize their work, you as a company are essentially producing, producing stronger and more self-enabled employees but also retaining the traditional purpose of an internship. The next component of our virtual internship experience strategy is collaborative projects. In the previous slide, we discussed individual undertakings that interns need to do with support mentors. Along with those, we believe that collaborative projects will prepare them for the workplace and bring additional value to the company. At the start of a contract for an intern, a long-term collaborative project is designed for the entire pool. There will be one mentor that meets with the entire group of interns in Zoom, but the burden to complete the project will rest on the company. At the end of the contract, the project will be evaluated by the mentor. The project should be something that brings value to the company and requires both company and external information. The goal of this project is to foster teamwork, as all interns are expected to contribute and work together to produce something beyond the capability of the individual. Communication is also essential and this project will serve as first-hand experience for the interns, forcing them to find their own way. Lastly, this project will require problem-solving skills as interns overcome challenges along the way to arrive at solutions. Overall, a virtual intern project will provide interns with valuable experience in teamwork, communication, and problem-solving. The longer time horizon will prepare them for the real workplace, the long-term projects are going to be. In addition, the completion of the project will bring meaningful value. Now let's talk about another essential aspect of our plan, one-on-one -on -one mentor-intern relationships. 
A mentor will be assigned to each intern at the start of each intern's contract and stick with that intern through the lifetime of that contract. Constant communication is essential in the business world, especially in larger companies with many moving parts. We recommend that each mentor and intern meet through the video chat software Zoom at least twice per week. The video format will more closely resemble a traditional workplace interaction as opposed to a strictly audio call. Two meetings per week will allow for mentors to teach and explain while giving interns freedom to work independently but also ask questions. Feedback from both sides, especially at the end of the intern's contract, is essential for future virtual internships. The feedback collected can be used to enhance future interns' experiences and allow the company to get more value out of interns. For a virtual internship to work, the mentor must be thoroughly prepared to assign tasks, teach valuable lessons, and convey company culture through the intern. This task should not be taken lightly, and the mentor should be given monetary compensation for the additional efforts required. On the side of the intern, they must be qualified and self-motivated. If they are only meeting with a mentor twice per week, most of their experience will be self-directed. In lieu of these difficult times, both mentors and interns must be vested in the digitized system for it to work at maximum potential. To ensure that intern applicants are qualified, a virtual hiring process should be conducted with hiring professionals. Limitations of our strategy. The pandemic has brought many changes to how business is conducted many of which have impacted how internships are carried out. Those some companies are still conducting internships in person. This presentation is focused on those companies located in communities on lockdown or those who choose to conduct internships in a virtual manner. Unfortunately for interns, the traditional internship process must be altered. Our strategy focuses on giving interns the opportunity to engage in important individual and group tasks, as well as open and direct communication with a mentor. However, it is important to note the limitations of our strategy. For one, due to lack of in-person interaction, interns will not get very much experience with company culture. The day-to-day -day conversations, the attitude of employees, and bugs of a standard workday are all things the intern is missing out on. Also, a traditional internship, there is a cost associated with paying mentors. In a virtual climate, mentors are expected to devote significant time creating both individual and group projects as well as meeting with interns twice per week. The project needs to bring value to the company while still being appropriate for an intern, which requires planning, which takes time. The last limitation of our strategy is that it requires sustained internet access, which may not be available to every prospective intern. However, given the nature of our virtual internship, there is no way to overcome this. Overall, we have established the importance of internships. They provide meaningful working experience to prospective employees and bring value to the company. Faced with a global pandemic, many internships have been forced to go virtual. To best facilitate intern development, we propose a three-part strategy that incorporates individualized application, collaborative projects, and mentor-intern relationships. Our strategy gives interns experience working on tasks that benefit the company and promote a dedicated work ethic, problem-solving skills, and clear communication. Despite these difficult times, we believe that this is the best way to continue internships that both brings value to the company and prepares interns for the workforce. Thank you for your time, and we are pleased to answer any questions you may have.